Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perk Shlishi, Daf Chaf Aleph Amud Aleph, Chapter 321a. The Haret Fila, but there is prayer that Shmone Shred, the Dava Shehat Sibu Asukinbo, which is something the congregation is involved with, Utnan, and we learned in the Mishnah, Haya Ome Bet Fila Viniz Kashu Ba Al Kari, if one was standing in prayer saying Shmone Shred, and he remembered he was a Balkari, Loyafsik, he should not stop, Ela Yekatse, rather he should shorten each of the blessings of Shmone Shred. Tama Dat Khil, the reason. Uh, to continue is because he already began. Ha lo atchil, but he had not yet begun uh, when he thought of being a Valkyrie. Lo yatchil, uh, even so he should not, it seems he shouldn't begin, he should not even begin it. Sha'ani tfila. Prayer is different. Shmane is different. Delayed by Malchut Shemaim. It does not include uh, Malchut Shemaim, which is at the beginning of Shema. Um, so that's the acceptance of God's kingship. The Hare Birkat Hamazon Nacharav. But there is Birkat Hamazon, grace after meals, delayed by Malchut Shemaim, which does not include God's kingship. Utnan, but we learned in our Mishnah, Alamazon Mevarech Nacharav. So we use to recite the blessings that follow a meal. The Eino Mevarech Nacharav, but he's not to recite those blessings that precede the meal. Rather, saying Shema and Birkat is uh, is comes from the Torah. Utfila Shmona Esrei is the Rabbanan. Amar Rav Yehuda Minayin Levirkat Hamazon Leacharei Min HaTorah. From where in the Torah do we get that we do Birkat Hamazon Shneema for a treatment for Achalta Besavat Torah and you shall eat, be satisfied, be satisfied and bless. Minayin lebir katatora lefanei minatora. From where in the Torah do we get uh, doing a blessing prior to Torah? Shneimar ki shem adonai ki shem Hashem ekra havugadel eloheinu. When I call out the name of Hashem, ascribe greatness to our God. That's in Devarim. Amar Rabbi Yochanan lama deinu lebir katatora lacharei We derive. A blessing after the, after studying Torah, min ha min bekat hamazon from bekat hamazon mikalvachomer through a kalvachomer or yekat hamazon lefanea and a blessing before food, min bekat Torah from the blessing of Torah through a kalvachomer. Bekat Torah lacharei min min bekat hamazon mikalvachomer a blessing after Torah from bekat hamazon through a kalvachomer or mamazon she'en ta'un lefanav. So food. Now, food which does not require before its consumption, ta'un, ta'un lacharav, requires after its consumption. Torah sheta'un lefanea, Torah which does require a blessing before studying, eno din sheta'un lechareha, does not follow that it requires blessing uh, after studying as well. Ovir katamazon lefanea minha min bekatatare mekavachomer, and a blessing before food comes from the blessing prior to studying Torah through the Kalachomer. Oma Torah she'en te'una lachareya. So if, if Torah, which does not require after studying, te'una lachareya, requires before its study, mazon she'hu te'un lachareya, food which requires a blessing after eating, e'en odin she'yehel te'un lachareya, does not follow, that requires before its consumption as well. Ik, oh, we're just going to scroll down. So we're going to be going from the top of the screen, which uh, beginning where the line is left enough, we're standing from the word Ika, uh, which is approximately halfway down the narrow uh, top section, Ika Lemif. Ika Lemifrach, it's possible to refute this, that is, refute the Kavachom, yeah? Ma Lemazon Shekene what to food, um, does eating derive benefit? And what is the analogy to Torah that leads to eternal life? So this is an objection to the Kalbachomer. But and furthermore, we learned in the Mishnah, Al Hamazon Harav, food is to recite. Uh, those blessings that follow a meal for a Valkyrie, but he's not to recite those blessings that precede a meal. 
Tiyuv Tah, it is a refutation. There is no biblical source for blessings before food and after Torah study. Amar Rav Yoda, Sapek, Safek, Kara, Kriyat, Shma, Safek, Lo, Kara. If one is uncertain as to whether he recited Shma or hasn't said it yet, Enoch, Azavakarad, you do not need to return and recite Shma from doubt. Safek, Amar, Emet, Vyatsiv, if you are uncertain about whether you said Emet, Vyatsiv, true and certain, which comes just after Shema, Safek Lo Amar, or whether he didn't say it, Chazav Emet Ve'yatziv. You have to go back and say Emet Ve'yatziv. My Tama, what's the reason for this? Kriyat Shema Darabanan, the recitation of Shema is rabbinical only. Emet Ve'yatziv Doraita. Emet Ve'yatziv is according to Torah law. It's uh, to do with the uh, with Yetzirah Mitzrayim. Mativ Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef objected, Uve Shachlecha Kamecha, when you lie down and when you rise, So this, um, this is an indication, those words of Ashraf Mechab Kamecha, that Shema is indeed required by the Torah. Ama le Abaye, replied to Rav Yosef, Hahu bedivrei Torah ketiv, that is written with regard to words of Torah in general, not necessarily in particular to Shema. Tanan, we learn in a Mishnah, Balkeri mehar her belibo. A Balkeri contemplates Shema in his heart, as opposed to saying them aloud. But Eino mevarech, and he need not recite the blessings, lo lefanecha velo lacharea, neither preceding Shema or after Shema, that is, emevaitziv. But al hamazon, and in regard to food, mevarech lacharav, he only says uh, in his uh, the blessings that follow a meal, and it seems to mean that he only does it in his heart. But he doesn't recite the blessings that come before a meal. If it would enter your mind that Emmet Emmet is biblical, live rock he he should definitely recite the blessings that follow this mark. My time for what reason does a Balkari recite Emmet uh, Vyatsiv? If it's on account of the Yetiyat Mitzrayim, the Exodus from Egypt, Ha Adkar Shma. He mentioned this already in the recitation of Shema. The name Hala Ha Veloli Ha Ba. Let the Balkari say this, and he will have no need to say Shema. So you should say him Emet Ve'Yatziv, and that way he doesn't need to say Shema. So an answer, Kriyat Shema Difa. It is preferable that he recites the Shema, or at least uh, does it in his heart. To eat Batate, for the text contains two important elements. That is, uh, Tate is the two. Uh, it's talking about uh, Yetiyah Mitzrayim and God's sovereignty. The Rabbi Lazar Amar Safek Kara Kriyat Shema Safek Lo Kara. If you're uncertain as to whether you recited Shema or not said it yet, Chazer the Kara Kriyat Shema. You do definitely return and recite the Shema. Safek if Palel Safek Lo Hit Palel. If you're uncertain whether he prayed Shema Nesre or did not yet pray, Eino Chazer Mi Palel. You don't go back and pray. The Rabbi Yochanan Amar, however, Rabbi Yochanan said. Would that a person could pray all day long? If I'm standing in prayer, and he remembers that he already prayed, he posek, he should stop. Even if he's in the middle of a blessing. Aini, is it so? Is that correct? Rav Nachman, Ki Havinan Be Rabba Bar Avuha. When we're in the Academy of Rabba Bar Avuha, the Anmine we asked him, Hane Bene Be Rav, the <coughs> excuse me, these students of the Academy, to tell me the Umad Kere de Ho Beshabbat, who sometimes make an error and mention. The weekday brachot in the on the Shabbos during the Shmona Esrei, Mahu Shigmeru. What 
Uh, what do we rule? Do they finish what they began, what they began incorrectly? Vamalan and Rabbi Bar Avuha said to us, Gomrim kol otzah baracha, he should complete the entire blessing he had begun. And then go back to the Shabbos text. Hachi hashda, so now what's the comparison? Hatam gavra bar chiyuva hu. There, the person is someone who's obligated to uh, recite Shemone Esrei. Rabbanan hu delo atar hu. So the sages did not trouble him to say all the blessings. Mishon kavod hashab, Shabbat, due to the honor of Shabbos. Aval hacha, but here, when you're in the middle of praying, ha tzalele, he already prayed. <clears throat> There's no obligation to it again. The Amar Rav Yodama Shmuel. So Rav Yodah said in the name of Shmuel. He t'palelu v'nichnas levet ha-kneset. If someone prays Shmuel Esra and then entered a shul, or matzati bo shimi palelin and found the congregation reciting Shmuel Esra prayer. Im yachol ha-chadesh ba-davar. If you're able to say the prayer again and add something new to it, le-chadesh. Yachazovi palel. He should go back and recite the prayer again. For im love, and if not, al yachazovi palel. He should not go and recite the prayer again. Utrichan. Both teachings are necessary. Dei ashminan kamaita. For if he taught us only the first one, honey uh, mile yachid v'yachid. That applies only when, as an individual. Um, and began the second prayer as an individual as well.